is my video about what's in my lectern. Um, Leela is also here. She's being very helpful by breathing on everything. And um, she wants to, she wants to help today. So um, my brother and sister are both away. They're out of town and I'm dog sitting. So needless to say, I am, I've been busy taking care of the dog and playing with the dog. So my lecture is an army color. I got the dotted version of this book. So you could see it's dotted and I started to use it based on um, things that specifically have to do with this channel and other exciting things that are coming. Um, we're going to be actually launching, we're actually going to be launching a product very soon. Um, things are still being ironed out right now, but in general, this notebook or this book is not being used so much as a bullet journal as it is a collection of different things that I need to keep track of. So Lecture 1917 has two ribbons. I very rarely use them. I'm finding that this notebook journal style is more effective if I'm using tabs and just kind of using washi tape on the side. So the first page, it didn't really bother filling that out. I don't usually take this book outside too much. It's more of a at home note taking type of thing. The next is I've obviously begun to keep track of the content. So I really like that this is here for people to keep track of what's on the rest of the pages. Just got some, an overview of the items that I have in this book so far. I've used up to about 49, page, 49 pages and there is 200 more pages to go that I can use that blank pages. So I started off with and a quote. The pens that are used most often in my journal, my bullet, or my lectern, is this one by Tombow. So here's the Tombow Japan one, Play Color 2. And it's dual ended pen. I showed this in my haul. So this is more of a marker tip. I don't use that very often. And the fine marker nib or tip. I also like to use the Signo Uniball because I think it matches, the, this color matches my, the cover. These colors, these muted colors like to, I like how they look together. My nails also kind of match. I actually bought these thing, this nail polish hoping that it would be more of a similar color but it's just how I'm feeling right now. I really use this juice, uh, this Pilot Juice Pen a lot. This one is in 0.38 and it's called Sky Blue. It's a really light ink and I find that with the paper quality of the lectern, I was a little bit disappointed in how thin this paper is, even though it's 90 GSM. I always imagined that 90 GSM would be a lot thicker than this, but my my first page, it actually started to bleed through and I didn't really want that. So I took another piece of paper and wrote down my, my um, year, at a get, year at a glance. That's the first thing that I refer to. The next part is just a comparison of notebooks. I got really interested in different types of notebooks, their prices, and really wanted to know about all of the specs. I think I'll be doing um, a video about this though. Next thing on my next page is some um, of my information or our information here and other people that I like and want to follow. Down here is some information about the social media page. Here is a Example of how light this pen, this juice pen is, the sky blue is a very light color. And here I've just kept track of the videos that I've made, the date 
So the date, the video title, and also some stats. Thank you so much for watching. And I keep track of, I try to respond to comments as quickly as possible. Um, and I keep track of views and number of subscribers. I'm thinking there should be a giveaway at some point, um, just to say thank you for watching. The next page is, is some quotes that I like. And then this one is more of like a management process. These don't really work. This, this page, this spread isn't really working for me. So I'm probably going to stop after I make 17 videos. But it's just a process of how to go. So like filming it, editing it, making sure there's a thumbnail, uploading it, making the tags, all that stuff. Um, I've kind of just gotten it down, but essentially it's just me doing it. There was a couple of videos where my brother, his name isn't Jerome, it's just, he likes, it's, it's fine. Um, but my brother tried his hand at editing two of the videos, but we kind of just stopped that. But it was good at the beginning because it allowed me to figure out how I need to wrap my brain around this YouTube thing. It's all trial and error on my part. This is a little bit more more useful spread or more useful um, tracker for me because then I can figure out which songs I have used and this just keeps track so I don't have to keep going into YouTube to check which ones I have used. Um, hashtags are just, just random. I also like nail polish stuff so some nail related ones, some planner related stuff and some notes. We're not going to be showing the next few pages. Are not ready yet. Um, this part in my in my index, I've called page twenty uh, video brainstorming area. But how I brainstorm is every time I have an idea, I kind of take one of these sticky flags. These they're transparent or translucent sticky tags, neon colors, and I'm now thinking it would be a good idea to group them by color. So if it's like a collection type, I would do this. Maybe these are more DIY. So they're just different types of, I'm thinking I should, I should categorize them by type of video and color, put a color to them. So this is kind of a brainstorming area. And then here I have each month and it's written in this more of a bullet journal style way where each, each of the lines has a day. And I try to keep track of the things that I will do here. Um, I've noticed that it's better for me to write this information down, like the pen writing stuff. That should be in um, friction pen so I can erase it. And I take one of these, the videos that I want to plan on doing, and I will stick it where I'm planning on posting. So an example of that is I would pre-plan this and I would put it actually on the date. So I put it on the date that I'm planning it and then in pen I would write down the things that which day I attended I wanted to film or which days I wanted to edit. And then when I actually posted it, filmed it, edited, posted it, I would move it so that the date becomes revealed and that becomes um, when it is posted. October I didn't do so well, mostly because of the video problems I've been talking about. And now I'm dog sitting and didn't do that much in October. I'm planning on getting back into it. So here's November. Today is the first and I'm going to film this, hopefully edit it and put it up all today, arrow, that I move along the dates. So today is Tuesday the first. I would put this right here. And then for tomorrow, I would just cover up Tuesday so that Wednesday would show. May, June, July and August, which would be a full year. That's all I really want to plan for now. I won't be in this notebook anymore after, after August 2017. The next few pages, again, I'm going to skip, but essentially it was just for finances, financial things that... Um, incurred expenses. Um, over on this side I've made, this is made of washi tape, so I cut each letter out myself. And so this one says confidence, got perseverance, 
triumph, and here's grace. That has to do with the products that are coming out. And over here, I've got an Instagram post for November and December, just some a plan, quick plan for promotion and stuff. And then one of the last things that I've got is I decided to have some books that are related to uh, businesses and personal management and personal improvement, self-development. These are the books that I want to read. I will be coloring it in once I do that. Um, I kind of regret making it a little bit 3D because it was difficult to draw, but I've seen a lot of these books where they're just 2D, like they're just, they don't have this third dimension part going backwards. I wanted to do it this way because you can write the name and sometimes if it's too long, you can also write the, the author as well. So that was my thought behind this, but I guess we'll see how it goes um, for, future, for future ones. And finally, um, I just have two pages really quickly related to things that I want to have done, I want to do, but um, I just took out some some of these post-it notes, these post-it point marker sticky. I said that they don't stick very well, but um, if I'm not moving them around, it's not too bad. And all I just I did was I took one sample. There's an example one. So I tried to give them different. It was I gave them. I used different colors for different things. So. This one is one that's under giveaway. It's a question mark that I need to figure out how I want to do giveaways, if it will work for me. And it's just kind of in here um, with a big list of things to do. I think for me, using Lectrum notebook and journal has been quite helpful because it's made me it's made me more serious about keeping notes, making them pretty and legible, and not just kind of scribbling all around. I like using Lectrum for note keeping, and eventually I might be putting more task related things, everyday things in here. Well, I think the dotted, dotted is the way to go for me. I like that it gives you some, some sense of structure, but it's not overwhelming with the lines or grid either. Um, the page numbered pages are really great. And overall, I think it's it's kind of, I wanted to try this notebook out and I, I'm just gonna use it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please leave me some links below of your bullet journals or your lecterms or notebooks. Um, what do you keep track of? And do you guys have any ideas what um, we're going to be coming out with in the near future. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, go follow us on Instagram. Check us out, our videos. Um, some exciting things are going to happen. And there have been clues here and there because I've been using some of these things in my videos so far. And also on Instagram, definitely there have been pictures of what's coming up. And so Take a look, connect with us online, and I'm so excited to show you what's to come. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye.